What's up YouTube? My name is Andy Gabs. This is Lemon the Burmese Python and today I'm going to tell you about how I became friends with and about my friendship with probably the most influential person in the reptile world since the passing of Steve Irwin, Brian Barczyk. For now, I'm going to put this girl back and we'll get back to her later with a special guest. Uh, really quick before we get into this video, I did want to say that my last video that I posted did really, really well. You know, it has over 160,000 views right now, so I just wanted to say thank you for all of that, for you guys sharing those memories with me. We're gonna share some more memories today, um, but I wanted to give back. So if you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pick one of you guys. I'm gonna buy you an annual pass to the Legacy Aquarium. I'll just pick a random commenter. Just make sure you're subscribed. Drop a like on the video if you want, but you don't have to do that. I would just appreciate it. I'll pick one of you guys and I'll pay for it. I don't know if it gets emailed to you or mailed to your house, how that works, but uh, you'll get an annual pass. Thanks. Now, let's get into the full story. My hair is, uh, is very rough, y'all, hence the beanie. You know, I've told this story a couple times, but I've actually never told it the right way, believe it or not. There was one part that I've always left out that I never remembered, uh, but me and Kelsey actually just found it when we were looking back through pictures that I thought was kind of funny. So, I'm gonna start at the very beginning. I'm gonna tell you guys stories, uh, the story of how I met Brian, some fun things that we've done, things that I've done with the crew, people that I've become friends with since meeting him and because of meeting him. Maybe share a couple video clips, but it's not gonna be like the other video where it's just all videos of memories and stuff like that. I just wanna tell you guys this story. So in 2016, Brian had posted on Twitter that he was going to be coming to California at some point, and I reached out to him and asked him if he wanted to come see the base. Uh, that's where I was stationed at the time while I was in the Navy. And I don't know why I thought he would want to come to the base. I think it was just kind of an excuse for me to meet him because I really wanted to meet him. I had been following him for so long prior to that. Um, but, you know, he said no, which... Makes sense, or I think at first he said he would try, but he ended up saying that he couldn't make it. Uh, but fast forward a couple months after that, I see that he is going to be at, or he is at a pet shop up in, it was somewhere in LA, I can't remember the guy's name or the pet shop's name. Uh, but so right after work, um, I worked on Coronado, so it was about a two hour drive from LA. Right after work, I got out and I hauled ass to LA to go meet Brian for the very first time. This is the part that I always leave out. I always say that I meet him at the All Animal Expo. That was a mistake, I honestly just forgot. My memory is horrible, which is another reason that I wanna film this video. So I drive out to LA to go meet Brian Barczyk for the very first time. I was so excited, I was nervous, I didn't know what to think, I didn't know if he was gonna think I was weird. I was still in uniform, because I literally got home from work, picked up Kelsey, and we had to go, because I wanted to make it there in time. So. Here's that photo, uh, maybe one or two photos of that day. It was absolutely amazing. And uh, Brian told us to come and meet him at the All Animal Expo. And that's where my brain thought it, that I had met him for the first time. But we went there. Uh, we ended up hanging out with him for a good long while. And uh, he had to go pick up Noah, which I've told this story before. He had to go pick up Noah, but he couldn't make it. So I ended up going to pick up Noah. Noah thought Kelsey and I were Ubers. Um, it was a funny story, and that's kind of how me and Noah became friends. But me, Kelsey, Noah, Brian hung out all day. You know, did all kinds of fun stuff. I bought the very first bag of Reptile Prime that was ever sold. So no one can say that. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. I also am the one that told Brian he should put a Ziploc seal on the Reptile Prime bags. So now if you buy a bag of Reptile Prime, you're welcome, you have a Ziploc seal, my idea. Now, that same trip, um, when we went to the All Animal Expo and we got to hang out and whatnot, uh, it must have been like the next day or a couple days later, Brian invited me to come hang out again. And I was super excited. You know, the guy that I've looked up to forever, you know, wants to hang out with me. Uh, it didn't make much sense, but he was going to see this guy who he'd only met once before named Miguel Garcia. Some of you might know Miguel as Always Evolving Pythons. I don't remember where Miguel lives, but I, I don't know. I know I went to his house. We were there, we were all talking crap, you know, seeing cool animals, and Miguel brought up this challenge uh, called the Death Nuts Challenge that he tried, he failed, he said that no one could do it, he said it was impossible, and then he put $500 on the line. Not only did I do it, I succeeded. Uh, so I was gonna use that $500 to go buy a camera a Canon G7X so I could start vlogging because Brian inspired me to do it. He said, just do it, man. Like, there's there's no reason to not do it. The worst thing that happens is no one watches. And, you know, that's absolutely true. So I was gonna use that money to buy a camera, but 
That night, Noah and I uh, went and hung out with this really cool person named Loie Lane. Loie, if you happen to see this, hello. And that night, we told some ghost stories that I think are on Loie's channel. Um, again, this is like circa 2016, 17, somewhere around there. Um, told ghost stories, and I told Loie that I was going to go and buy a camera. And instead of me buying one, Loey gifted me a Canon G7X, the exact camera that I was going to buy. It did have a broken screen that flipped up, but I didn't care because I was just going to get that screen replaced. So me and Noah went to Best Buy. I got a Joby tripod. If you don't know what that is, it's one of these things. It's so you can like hold the camera out like this and look at it. Obviously right now I'm using a tripod, so I don't need this thing. This is not the same one, by the way. I've had like a hundred of these. That's why I've had a hundred of these. After, you know, Noah and I went and got that stuff, I had to say bye to Brian and Noah. You know, it, it sucked, because um, I was pretty sure that I wasn't gonna see him again, but to my surprise, Brian said, you know, you have my phone number, text me when you can come out to the Reptarium. And I was like, all right, you know, he's being nice, whatever. Um, so they get home, maybe a few weeks later, I text him and I was like, hey, if your offer's still open, you know, I'd love to come out. And he was like, oh yeah, dude, just book a book flights, you can crash at our house, I'll pick you up from the airport, don't worry about a rental car, yada, yada, yada. And I was like, why are you so nice? Like, it doesn't make sense. I am just a normal dude, and you are not just a normal dude. So I was, it was all just, it was lost on me. But, I, I did it. Of course I did it. Would you not do it if you had the opportunity? So I fly to Detroit. Brian picks me up at the airport. Now this is like halfway through the build of Reptarium 1.0. Um, so I go, this is the first time that I meet all the crew. I meet Eric, I meet uh, Bruce, Jessica, Mary, Andrea, Lori, uh, I meet everyone. And I have the best time ever. I get to sleep at the bar check's house. It was just incredible. It was like one of the core memories from my young adulthood. I helped him build cages for the Reptarium. There's, you know, the last video that I filmed. Um, you guys can see that one. It was amazing. I just, I gotta do so much fun stuff that first trip. So I flew back home, uh, and Brian and I still talked, you know, every now and then. We were both busy though. Uh, by this point, Kelsey was pregnant, I think. Because Kelsey would have been pregnant in 2019. So I flew back once Reptarium 1.0 was opened and done. Um, so I gotta fly back, I gotta see Reptarium 1.0, gotta hang out film with the crew, me, Noah, Bruce, and Eric actually went shooting at this trip. I brought um, some guns and stuff. We gotta go to the shooting range. It was a really, really good time. Uh, and again, we just filmed, got into shenanigans. It was, it was amazing. I had such a good time that second trip and to be able to kind of have the keys to the Reptarium was amazing. You know, there was nothing that was off limits. If I wanted to go pick up RJ, I could go pick up RJ. You know, one of the most viral videos, the most viral shorts that I've ever posted is a video of me picking up RJ because he was in Mary's way while she was trying to clean snakes. That video has probably 10 million views across all of the social media platforms. And I have no one to thank for that but Brian. You know, now after that trip, uh, I went to the Pomona Reptile Expo in Pomona, California. This would be 2019 as well. Uh, I met this dude named Brian Cusco. Hello! Ha! Well, I met Brian Cusco again. Hello! Ha! And I met him at Miguel's house that one time before, and this guy, Forrest Fanning. Uh, both of these dudes would become great friends of mine, and the Pomona Reptile Expo was crazy because people actually knew who I was. Just from that little bit of interaction I had from Brian, from the videos of his that I was in, people knew who I was, and it was amazing. I made so many really cool friends. Um, Nick Lavera was there that day. Me and Nick are still great friends today. Nick, if you watch this, what's up, buddy? I miss you, I love you, we gotta hang out soon. Also, around this time is when I became friends with Jay Brewer. Uh, you know, Jay is huge now. You know, one of, probably the most followed person in the animal world. Uh, I don't know, what do we give him? Uh, I don't know. A new car! Between you know his Instagram, his TikTok, he's absolutely killing it in the short form content world. And me and Jay are still friends. I bet you if I called him or FaceTimed him, he would probably answer, but I think he's out of the country, so right now he actually might not. Uh, and around this time is when I flew to Brian Cusco's, or I didn't fly. Around this time is when I drove up to Brian Cusco's house in California, in Central California, to go hang out with him and film videos with him. 
Again, something that I would have never been able to do if I didn't meet Brian. And then I went to the Reptarium two more times after that, so I've been there a total of four times. One of them was when Reptarium 2.0 opened. I went back and, again, just shenanigans. Hung out, we got into a bunch of trouble, me and Noah and Andrea did some like spicy hot sauce challenges. We pranked Eric and got him to eat a spicy chocolate bar. Uh, we ate little nitro. All right, y'all ready? All right, yeah, let's, I'm ready. Let's ready. Can you drink one more time? Let's run it. All right, you ready? You ready? Let's do this. All right, three, two, two one. Three, two, one. Two, one. Oh wow, already hot guys, already oh, wow. hot. It's already starting now. Oh my god. Already starting to pick this up. Hip, wow. The tip of my tongue. My whole tongue, already. Throw the hottest gummy in the world. Also, just a pro tip, if you watch Wild Times podcast, there might be some stuff coming out uh, with some spicy things. Just saying. Just watch, give it, a, give it a watch. Might be a little bit, but something cool might be coming. And then I went back one more time in 2020. Uh, I went out there and me, Brian, and Jay Tomsky drove to go see uh, Coyote Peterson's premiere for his Discovery Channel show with Coyote Peterson in Ohio. So we drove from Michigan to Ohio, went to a movie, movie theater, got to meet Coyote, hang out with Coyote, and uh, just watch his premiere. It was about like catching a snapping turtle, like this really big snapping turtle, if I remember correctly. Again, memory is fuzzy, my memory is not that good. But that was just another, it was another really cool trip because it was just me, Brian, and Jay hanging out in the car, driving, it was like five hours each way, and we literally drove there, saw the premiere, and then drove back in one day. So that was the last time that I would see Brian Barcheck until Animal Con 2023. You know, before Animal Con, shortly after that trip where we saw Coyote Peterson's film premiere, or uh, Discovery Show premiere, uh, we lost Forrest Fanning, that guy that I talked about who I met at the Pomona Reptile Show. And you know, me and Forrest became pretty good friends. Um, Forrest died after a long battle with an illness. So that, that really hurt me. Um, that was kind of like, he was one of the first friends that I ever lost, aside from my buddy from back home, Kyle. And um, it just kind of hit different. You know, I flew to South Dakota for Forrest's funeral. We love you, Tyler. We love you, Tyler. We love you, Tyler. Woo! Goodbye, Forrest. Um, got to hang out with Desiree, Forrest's wife, while I was there. Now, to this day, me and Desiree are still, you know, pretty good friends. We keep in touch. I was just talking to her the other day. So that one kind of hurt. And, you know, Brian introduced me to Forrest, or Brian is the reason that I became friends with Forrest. So that was just another person who I had uh, a relationship with, thanks to Brian. And unfortunately, we lost him way too soon. He was very young, and he left behind his son, Lars. But... It was just another amazing person that I got the chance to have a relationship with because of Brian. And you know, after this point, I was stationed in New Orleans and I got really busy. And Brian was really busy too. So, you know, we would still keep in touch. We would text, we would, you know, even talk on the phone every now and then. I remember he called me uh, when he saw that my house got destroyed after Hurricane Ida. Uh, we talked, that was 2022, I think, uh, or 2021 maybe. He called me just to check on me and see how things were going. Um, but we didn't talk a ton. We would just text back and forth every now and then, say what's up. Uh, but that all kind of changed in 2022 when someone else saw me watching the vlog and wanted to start watching it. Like I said, that all changed in 2022 when Brian got a new fan. Now in 2022, Scarlett, do you know how old you were? How old were you two years ago? I was three. She was three years old. And did you like to watch um, Daddy's friend Brian? Yeah. Yeah, what did you like about his videos? Um, a lot of stuff. Did you like to see all the cool animals? Yeah. And you know how he's building that really cool aquarium? Yeah. Yeah, it was super cool. So Scarlett started to watch Brian, and uh, we would watch the vlogs together. And it kind of came like a thing that we did, huh? We would watch yeah. his videos together? Yeah. Do we still watch him every now and then? Yeah. It's pretty cool, huh? We've been watching him build that aquarium. Yeah. All right. So... That snake that I had out in the very beginning, why did you get that snake? Or when did you get it? I don't want to twist me. Sometimes I want to stick for Christmas. She got it for Christmas because she wanted it. And that was 100% your idea, right? You told Daddy that you wanted a big yellow snake? Yeah! Yes. And so that was 100% Scarlett's idea. But do you think you wanted a big yellow snake because you saw a bunch of them at Nerd, uh, Daddy's friend's place up in New Hampshire, and because Brian has some? Yeah. That's probably what gave you the idea, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So now, we have a really cool albino Burmese python, all because of Brian. So, say thanks Brian, love you. 
Thanks for playing. Thank you. High five. We don't see a lemon. And this is Stella. And I have no doubt that in maybe a year, because she'll be three years old in a year. <laughs> you see the hoo hoo, the Grinch? I have no doubt that she'll go back and we'll watch some of Brian's old vlogs Hi. together. <laughs> and she will love it just as much as Scarlett did. Do you like snakes? You do? Do you like, yeah, you like sissy snake? Lemon? Lemon. Yeah. yeah. Stella, can you say hi? Hi. Say, can you say hi, YouTube? <laughs> yep, oh, don't touch Daddy's lens, you're gonna make it dirty. Yeah. Tripod. So, I just wanted to show you Scarlett and Stella. I have no doubt that soon we'll be raising another little yeah. reptile lover. Mommy. And you know, right around that same time when Scarlett first started watching is when I started to become friends with the crew up at Nerd, including Kevin McCurley. I go up there now, you know, once, twice, maybe even three times a month just to go hang out. I film a lot of shorts there. I've never filmed the long form video, so if you want to see that, smash the like button, let me know. Then came early 2023 when I saw on Instagram that Brian was in the hospital. And you know, I texted him right away to see what was wrong. He didn't really want to talk, um, but he ended up telling me that he did have cancer prior to it going public. You know, really hurt, especially that it was pancreatic. I knew that the odds of beating that would be very, very, you know, very small, and it would be a, a really tough battle for him. Yeah, that, that sucked. But, you know, once he told me that, it, it, I must feel bad because we talked way more. You know, we were talking multiple times a week, uh, talking on the phone, we would text, I would just check in, see how he was doing. Um, but it was hard to watch him go, you know, he never showed it on the vlog. He always had his energy on the vlog, but sometimes when I talked to him, I could just tell that he was tired. But then, you know, September of 2023 was Animal Con, where Brian invited me personally to be a creator and to go to Animal Con as a creator, which was, you know, a, a fundamentally amazing experience. If you can go to Animal Con next year, you need to go. It was some of the most fun I have ever had. Um, so, Brian, thank you for inviting me to that. I loved it. And then, uh, Christmas of 2023. Just two, three weeks ago was the last time that I talked to Brian. And then, New Year's Eve, I saw the Instagram post that all of you saw where Brian had announced that he had two strokes. And shortly after that, I was told that he was going to be going on hospice. That is, you know, I don't want to end it on a sad note. Um, those are, and, and you know, I know I'm missing things. I know that there's fun things that we did together that I just can't remember that I'll remember one day and maybe I can come back and throw a comment or something. But for the most part, that's kind of the timeline of me and Brian's friendship. I was just a normal guy that wanted to meet him just to say hi. And here we are six, seven years later with a friendship with a friendship that prospered and that was beautiful and that I was lucky to have that I was lucky to have it was amazing so I hope you guys enjoyed the full Brian Barczyk story um, like I said I know I missed some stuff but I hope you guys enjoyed it from my point of view a small piece of Brian Barczyk's life where I fit in I'm really glad that I had that small little piece. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.